YouTubers, I know it's been a while since you've seen me. Um, I'd say February 7th or 6th was the last day that you actually saw me. Um, took some time off for myself to gather my thoughts, gather my uh, desires, wants, beliefs, take a look at what I'm actually doing in my life that um, needs some like drastic changes. Um, I did post, no, I did record a video on Valentine's Day. Um, it was basically sending you out my love. I had lost, I don't remember. I know one week I lost 2.4 pounds. I think I posted a video. So I sent out my love, but I forgot to post the video. Um, but let me give you my overall results. So for the month of February, my goal was to lose 4 pounds. I lost a total of 1.7. The first week I had a gain. Second week I lost 2.4. And then I maintained during the duration of the rest of the month. So since February 13th, I have not worked out at all. Um, and that was by choice. It wasn't that I was like, oh my God, I just can't feel like doing it today. No, I made an actual choice. I wrote the decision down. I am not doing this, that, and the third for right now because there's other things that I need to focus on in my life. Um, my health is a major part, but there's other things like my mental health, uh, my financial health, uh, my child. There's other things I need to get a better grasp on that can help me get a better grasp on my weight. So. I took some time off. Um, I had mentioned before that there was going to be some major changes in my life in February. Um, and that kicked off around February 16th. And I didn't know how I was going to deal with those changes. Basically, um, I had somebody that was very emotionally abusive for me in my past that I was actually welcoming back into my life. Um, some of you may think that's a bad decision. Right now, I'm not too sure if my decision was wise or not, but like I said, I like to face my issues head on. And the only way I could face the issues I had with this person is to have them around me again. Um, now, that wasn't by choice. Um, they relocated, which actually took me away from the drama in a physical sense, but in a mental sense, not. Um, a lot of years of emotional baggage with this particular person. And they have now relocated back to my area. And so, like, I made the decision of whether or not I was going to continue or start over dealing with this person. Um, and during this process, I've noticed how I've handled things. You know, that particular person, they haven't changed, and I knew that. But they continue on with life, even though we have these issues that we deal with. And for me, I stop it. And I put myself into this depressive or sad state of mind, which I don't have to. You know what I'm saying? Because they're continuing on with life. And then I'm sitting back, like, waiting for them to jump on board with mine. Yeah, so I had to evaluate that. I had to take a close look at what I was doing. I say, luckily, like, doing this journey, I was able to maintain loss. I didn't gain any more weight by the end of the month, um, and I didn't lose any more, considering I didn't work out for the last two weeks of February. So with that, I did lose 4.69 inches off my total frame. So my total body measurements. Um, my blood pressure was maintained and steady at like 120 over 70. And then after February 16th, it went on the rise. I'm like at 130 over 84. So now I'm back in the pre-hyper range. But I know it's due to these mental stresses that I have allowed to come into my life. And now I'm at the point where I'm going to focus on those. I'm going to focus on getting that shit together. Um, so 1.7 pound loss for the entire month. I wanted four, didn't get it. 4.69 inches loss of the month. I have no goal on my inches because I don't know what my body should look like as far as shape. Um, total inches, I mean. I have no goal on my total inches loss. So, but 4.69 inches loss is, is decent. Um, 
my February challenge for my miles. I was supposed to do 100 miles on the challenge, and then I wanted to stretch and do another 15 to 115 for my personal goal. I didn't make my 100. I made 99.35. I could have ran around my house for the last 0.65, but I fell asleep, so I didn't get it done. So, um, water. In, in between, somewhere between 48 ounces to 64. I want to be at 64 daily. Um, so, my new goals for Oh, and editing my book. I didn't finish editing either. I didn't even pick the book back up after February 13th. I did finish my book for my book club. Um, so that was good. But so my new goals for March. I hope I can remember these. I put them on my phone and I'm recording on my phone. I get a new phone soon. So I have a better camera soon. Yay me. Uh, right now my camera is like at 2.5 megapixels. And the camera I'm about to get is like 13 megapixels. Which makes my camera quality a lot better as well. So you should get some better looking photos from me, images from me. So let me go back to March goals. March goals. I want to lose four pounds for the month of March. I want to run or walk 100 miles for the month of March. I want to give myself a plus 20 miles. So make that 120 for my own personal goal. But the actual challenge that I'm involved in only requires 100. So I need to hit at least 100, but I want to get to 120. Um, I ha I'm on a new challenge with a family member, 30 minutes a day working out every day of the month of March, 30 days. I joined the challenge late last night, so I missed the first already, so my challenge starts today. Um, so I may do an hour to make up for yesterday to compensate for that. Um, I also, 64 ounces of water, I still want to do 64 a day at the minimum. Um, Finish editing my book. I want to write or do two blogs or vlogs a week. One will be the video, and two will be my written blog. I'm going to attach uh, my blogger. Uh, if you hit the blogger button in the video or on my page, you will see my actual written blog. But I'm going to write the link in the comments below so you can go to see my written blog gives you a little more detail about what I'm doing on a weekly basis, the thought process in my mind, other than these short snippets. Um, I think it was something else. I had some other stuff that I want to take. If I, I can't remember what else it was. I've been on YouTube almost a year now. It'll be a year April 27th. I still haven't hit um, my stride as far as my weight loss goes. And... My daughter issued me a challenge for me to lose Dunlap. That's my stomach, my girth. This section here. I don't know if you can see my full body shot or not. This section here. My daughter is challenging me to lose my letter S by May 3rd. Which means I have to kick up my um, core strength workout routines. Um... So, sit-up challenges. I need to do at least 24 a day. I was going good, going strong until I stopped working out. So, I think that probably helped with the inches some. Um, but if you're not sure, just doing sit-ups only is not just going to make you flatten your belly. It helps tone. But when you start losing weight, the weight doesn't say, Oh, my God, let me just come off on the stomach only. You're going to start shedding everywhere. I lost inches, like I said, my forearms and stuff like that. My boobs keep getting bigger. That's the part that's killing me. My boobs are getting bigger. Everything else is getting smaller. I'm not mad at that, though, because I like nice, big, sexy boobies on me. Um, but, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Oh, for Lent, I'm not a Catholic, but I do participate in Lent in my own personal way. Each year, I pick a snack item. That I'm going to give up for lit. So this year I gave up potato based chips. So in St. Louis we have red hot riblets. I have to give those up. Um, my wrap snacks and my Pringles and my Lay's stacks. Love those. So I'm giving those up for Lent. Lent began February 10th, it ends March 25th. I think the year before I gave up gummy bears, but on day 41, I picked those back up because gummy bears are my favorite. So I may pick it back up on the, for, on the, for, the 41st day. I may not, or I may just eat it in very limited quantity. Right now, I am telling you, I am craving potato chips. Um, 
So I've been trying to eat like corn chips or Funyuns because they're made out of corn or popcorn to substitute for that craving. It is just not working. I didn't think giving up potato chips was going to be so difficult for me. And I didn't realize how many potato chips I eat until I started cleaning out my car. And then I was cleaning up my bedroom and I was cleaning up my living room. And I had like bags and bags of empty potato chips just balled up somewhere or in another trash bag somewhere. And I'm taking out trash and there's potato chips and Pringles cans and Lay's stacked chips cans everywhere. And I'm like, I am killing myself on potato chips. Now, when I'm saying this, because normally I don't diet. I'm not giving up carbs. I'm not giving up bread. I'm just giving up a snack item. Um, two years ago, I gave up soda. Soda's a snack to me. Soda helps break down my teeth. I had like jacked up teeth because of soda. It breaks down the calcium in your teeth and the carbonation in it. And it, it, it uh, damages the enamel. And you can't get that crap back, you know. And, um, I've seen commercial that says you're, they can help restore your enamel. No, they can't. Enamel does not come back once it's gone. They could coat it with some crap that's already in that acid-based toothpaste that we're using, but it's not going to restore crap. So, man, I lost a whole tooth. Half my tooth fell off in the back of my mouth. Ah, uh, so I got to get like a crown or something to get that fixed. I don't know, but I know that's from years and years of soda damage because I picked up soda again during the course of the year. So, during this potato chip phase, I have actually drunk maybe one soda since February 10th. So, I'm, I'm, you know, maybe they go hand in hand for me. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I want to thank you guys for coming back, sharing in my journey with me. Um, I think I mentioned this, but one of my goals is the blog. Yeah, I did. One video a week, one written one a week. March, I'm going to be more consistent. Sunday is the day that I'm supposed to post my videos and sometimes I don't get to it. So, let's, let me say this here. If I don't post by Sunday, it shall be up by Wednesday. If it's not up by Wednesday, you ain't getting a video this week. I'm sorry. But that's just how the ball goes. Okay, so um, that's it for now. Peace. Thank you for coming back next week.